Um, a Los Angeles kid, you know, born and raised, um, Mexican and black parents. Um, I fell in, in love with music when I was, you know, actually well before I can remember, and uh, so all I've ever wanted to do. So here we are. This, nice. Yeah. The first time I heard All I Want Is You on the radio, um, I feel like I was, I feel like I was either home, I feel like I was, uh, so weird these memories kind of run into each other. Um, I was in my car at the time, <laughs> I was headed to the beach actually, I was headed to the beach and um, it came on as like a, a, like a new song, you know, they introduced it like this is a new song, you know, and check it out. Let us know if you like it. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the beat came out, boom, 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 boom. I was like, this, Damn. this is my song, you know? And uh, <laughs> I rolled down all my windows and, like, the sunroof. It has, like, a well, moonroof, you know, in the car. And uh, I looked over to the person next to me, like, turn out, you, you hear this? This is my song. <laughs> it, was, it was quite, quite crazy, but it was a great feeling. Yeah. Uh, Easy. Sometimes, you know, but I guess uh, sometimes not, you know. It's kind of different every time. Yeah, it's been it's been um, it's been a blessing, you know. Lately, uh, you know, other artists wanting to work, you know, it's really really cool. You um, you know, you spend your growing up, and these are artists that you grew up with listening to, you know. So it's cool to to. To have their uh, uh, be a part of their creative process, you know, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I don't know if it was a defining moment or it was everything suddenly, you know, I had this idea. Uh, in all honesty, the song entitled Trap for Kaleidoscope Dream. Um, began at the very end of All I Want Is You because they had asked that I make another song for All I Want Is You, the debut album that sounded more like the title track then and I didn't want to go back in and make another song that sounded like that but um, after much persuasion you know uh, and you know me fighting to just kind of want to create something else um, I went back in with Salam, and we created another song that was close to the sound, but I did it with, with, kind of like a, under a condition that if we did that song, we had to do another song that was just I could do whatever I wanted, and the other song was Kaleidoscope Dream. Uh, I'll be honest with you, man. I don't really know. I don't recall. You know how the song really came about. I remember getting on a plane, you know, missing my girlfriend, and uh, on the plane hearing these chords, and I just, I just kept hearing the chords. I fell asleep on the plane, woke up, and the chords still in my head. So I went home and I spent some time with my girlfriend for a couple of hours, and then I went straight to, you know, laying these chords that I've been yeah. hearing. So I lay the chords, and then I lay the drums, and then two hours later, I'm in my car, listening to this song. I play it, and play it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And I'm just listening. I'm like, man, this song is special. There's something special about the song. And I was like, how crazy would it be to hear the song on the radio one day? And I was like, nah, I'm gonna put this out on, you know, a series of EPs. And I did. I shot a video for it and everything, and it just from there just kind of grew. So definitely, like you know, just I I wasn't expecting it. Very cool. I don't know if I can live up to either of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I'm most certainly influenced by both of 
Yeah, yeah. D'Angelo and Prince, and um, well, I suppose I'm gonna do the best at living up to myself, you know, and my own expectation, which is okay. all all one can really do, you know. But um, I appreciate I appreciate that I remind people of artists I consider to be timeless, you know. It's an honor. Okay, nice.